Yeah, hello. This is Adam Smith calling from NobelPrize.org. Hi. Hi, Adam. Hello. Congratulations, of course, on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thanks, thanks. May I ask just what you were doing when the news came? Um, I was reading a paper, actually, um, and going through the details of a paper. So <laughs> that, that's what I was <laughs> And your initial reaction on hearing the news? It was a total surprise. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, in the first moment, I thought it was perhaps a hoax or so, but I, I remember the voice of, of Professor Nurmark, <laughs> um, and and then I realized there are also other people around, and he said that he would confirm it by email, and, and so it's it's serious. And uh, uh, well, I, in the first moment, I, I couldn't really believe it, but then it it gradually gra- I gradually realized that it's true. <laughs> And what was, what was the first thing you did after the, after you'd received the news and found out that it was true? <laughs> yeah, I read that paragraph that I that I wanted to read to the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then I, I I called up my wife um, and, um, and and tried to reach some of the people who are close to me. That's but that's marvelous. That's true dedication. Don't, staying with the paper. <laughs> I guess that's what makes you successful. Um, you. Uh, you defied conventional wisdom in um, thinking that you could um, break the diffraction barrier. What gave you the courage to try that? I think it was um, uh, insight. So I had realized that, um, that was my view at least, um, that there is so much physics happened in the 20th century that it's impossible that there is no, say, phenomenon uh, or physical chemistry phenomenon that would allow you to overcome the diffraction barrier that was coined in, in 1873 or so. Mm. So I felt that there must be something, so a kind of phenomenon that leads you beyond the barrier. And so so I got kind of convinced that there must be something, and so I tried to find something, and eventually uh, I found ways to, to overcome that limit. Clearly, you are deeply passionate about science. Do you consider science um, fun? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I love to be a scientist. I've always enjoyed being curious. I've always enjoyed doing challenging things and 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 also challenging common wisdom. So I think that's that's something a scientist can do because a scientist works at the border, at the edge of science, of at the edge of knowledge. And uh, so there's a lot of fun of of of, um, of reaching out and thinking about uh, things that other people didn't think about. And so so it's kind of it has a kind of exploratory uh, notion, kind of adventurous uh, part in it. I, I think people often neglect that 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 really you can you can be in the lab and be just as adventurous as somebody exploring the deep ocean. Yes. Or, Absolutely, and also creative. I mean, you you can imagine that something works. So I I imagine that there would be a way to go um, uh, to, to 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 crack the diffraction barrier, but of course I didn't know exactly how it would work. But I had a gut feeling there must be something, and so I tried um, to think about it, to be creative, and that in the initial phase of the development it was a creative act. And in the end, of course, you have to prove that it's not just uh, imagination, it's not just a theory or just a thought. It is true, and there is where the hard work comes in, and you have to really prove that that the way you think about it is right. And that took, of course, some time and a lot of development. Yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed. That That's marvellous. Um, I, I guess now that you're going to be swamped by people like me asking you questions, how <laughs> does that prospect? Well, I locked myself in, and so I'm, I'm okay so far. <laughs> <laughs> How very, how very sensible of you. Yeah, you sound, you sound like you're well in control of the situation. So, I wish you a very enjoyable day. I hope that, um, I hope that the following hours are um, enormous fun. Thank you very much for speaking Thank to us. Thank you very much now. for calling. It's my pleasure. Thank bye. you. Bye bye.